This video was brought to you by Stoltenberg, Abed Root Planner, Mr. Green, Ken Power, and Marcus Biel. Yo, what's up? We are now outside of Marcus Biel. It's the end of April and it's snowing outside. Climate change for the wind. <laughs> but okay, anyway, I'm gonna do a little uh, degradation test now. So here we have an e golf, huh? EK, once it, this is old school e golf. This is the 24 kilowatt hour e golf. And let's go inside, it's kind of noisy, but just look. It's going to be for sale soon at Marcus Beal. But this car was very popular back in the days. So uh, it has done 47,000 kilometers. And I look at the documentation here. First, okay, so it was first registered in 2016. September 12th, so it's uh, five and a half, six years, just make it six years old. Six year old car with 47k kilometers. How much degradation does it have? The one thing I don't know is how much it had initially, the cap capacity. Uh, I guess it's 20 kilowatt hour initially. I'm wondering maybe 21. No, I think it was 20. Yeah, that's the best guess I have. So we're gonna do the regular stuff, which is to uh, he's been charged 100%. We charge it 100%. We're gonna drive it semi slow around here. Uh, and then we try to measure the capacity. And then we measure the degradation. Can't wait to see how it is because remember, the e golf here has no thermal management. It might rapid gate, it might cold gate, whatever. So let's uh, reset everything and then off we go. All right, start your engines. <laughs> All right, so we're on the move now. So. I chose to cruise at 93 kilometers per hour uh, just to not stress the battery too much because we want to measure the degradation here. Uh, I don't care too much about the range and stuff. And uh, yeah, this is a nice car. So I fully understand why people bought this back in the days when you had Leaf and triplets and then suddenly, boom, the Eve Golf came out. And not everyone wants to buy an ugly duckling, which is the i3. So. It actually has nice uh, traditional interior, I say, except for the start engine button. But <laughs> so this is, uh, I feel like it's better. It looks better than the ID family, for example. So yeah, we just have to see, I guess, how far it can drive and how many kilowatt hour it has before I can make any recommendation. But uh, yeah, 48K on the odometer is not that much. After six years, some people might have driven around 100,000. So maybe I should try to find a 100K uh, e-golf. There should be plenty of e-golfs on the market. We just passed Drummond now, and uh, the consumption is 166. No, 165 watt hour kilometer. I had to increase my speed to 94. Uh, that actually matches 90 GPS speed. So yes, the plan now is to just drive south now towards uh, Larger week, I guess, but we will turn around when we have around 55% left. But uh, this car does not show you battery percentage. It's just they just took a, a fossil interior, fossil uh, design, <laughs> and just electrified it. That's why. But okay, at least you have a heated front windscreen, and also the headlight seems to be okay. Hmm, maybe I should try headlight test. Uh, well, actually, I don't have time for it, but okay. So um, now, how many percent do we have? We can see here, by the way, if you go to car and you go to e-manager, you can kind of see state of charge-ish here, but you might as well oh, look at this one. We are on the way back now. I'm getting close to Lierbakkene. And look at the consumption. Well, I can look at this one, the stats. So 150 watt hour per kilometer. Okay, average speed is a bit low, uh, probably because of the city driving we did before, but uh, still 150. Okay, 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 okay. We're going kind of slow now. Um, yeah, I need to speed up. But okay, so uh, it seems like we can go over 100 kilometers. Let's see if we can go 120 kilometers. Hmm. Oh, we have three bars left here. Uh, I don't know how many percent it is maybe 20%, but I just got a warning now that uh, eco mode is uh, enforced because we have low uh, battery. <laughs> yeah, I remember this. So it will actually become quite stingy towards the end and it will turn off HVAC even. So if, if it's winter, 
then suddenly you have no heater for the last part before you reach the charger or your destination. Well, well, well. Okay, we're almost done now. Just have to drive it down to uh, maybe not 0%, but um, close to zero. Uh, so we could just drive a little bit back and forth here around Billingston. So this place is packed compared to the north where I usually test the cars. You see, this is why I tend to test it around Dahl, Minnesun, because over there we have way less cars. Oh, oh, uh, the battery is almost empty. And you see here, this is the power uh, limiter meter thingy. We have, oh, the cars get sluggish now. We have about maybe 20% power left. <laughs> okay, so we are 3.5 kilometers away. Let's just turn around, get over to the fast charger. Okay, the test is done. We are now at the Deli de Luca Schleppen. Wait, is this Schleppen? Binsta. But I've been there before, I think once or twice. But you see, the problem with the e-golf is that the charge port is on the right side with the wrong side. Should have been on the left side with the right side. So then I have to park like this. But guess what? I'm not the only one parking like this. <laughs> okay, anyway, so the reason why I came here is because we have chem power here. So, um, wow, we're taking 41 kilowatt. If you click here, you can see that uh, we are receiving 125 amp. Or oh, is it? Yeah, 41 kilowatt. The voltage is a bit low. This is a problem with the classic uh, Golf, E-Golf. Wait, did I not close it? So, uh, yes, let's wait a bit because this is also part of the test. We will see how the charging curve is also. Okay, you see here, this is nice. We see that we started with 5%. The chem power will mark how many percent we started with. And if you click here again, okay, this is slightly different than the charger screen. But uh, yeah, we're still receiving 42 kilowatt. You see, we started with 40 and then the, the speed goes up a little bit as the voltage goes up. So let's wait and see when it drops then. We've been charging for a little over 20 minutes and look at this speed. Even at 75% it's taking 44 kilowatt. That's over 1.8 C. Huh? Wait, what the heck happened now? Shit! Can power fix this bug? <laughs> oh, it start dropping now, it start dropping. Okay, 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 all right. But that is very impressive for a six year old battery. Okay, okay. Now I guess, well, actually 21 kilowatt. That's still uh, almost 1C. <laughs> well, okay. So at, I guess at this point, uh, you don't want to camp too long, but I guess if you need to go to 90% or even 100%, it's still not that bad. I mean, give it some slack, right? It's a small battery. So uh, these cars, they might need to go to 90, 95% to reach the next charger. Anyway, the juicy stuff. So we managed to drive 120 kilometers. We don't have any uh, decimals here, but close enough. And the consumption was only 148 watt per kilometer. That's also very good. And uh, okay, so we arrive at 5%. And that means that we have 18.7 kilowatt hour if we would drive it all the way to zero. And then, okay, I assume 20 kilowatt hour when it was new. I'm not sure how accurate it is, but that equals to only 6% degradation. Can you believe that? So even if it was 21 kilowatt hour, it'd be around 10, 11% degradation. It's still very low for a six year old car. Okay, it hasn't done that much, but I guess people who buy these kind of cars, they don't hammer that far anyway, right? So compared to many other cars I tested, this is really good. And also the charging speed was top notch. It would charge at maximum speed all the way to almost 80% before it throttled. And even after it throttled, it was still not that bad considering the size of the battery and everything. So yes, um, you know, compared to that uh, Soul we tried recently, the Soul initially when it came out and it was branch banking new, roughly the same time as this one, the Soul was better, but the Soul degraded more. So you see, one thing is testing brand new cars, but we should also try to start testing old cars to see how they degrade, how worse it becomes. But I have to say the e-golf, even though it's six years old, it just feels nice and sturdy, everything here. 
it feels almost more premium than some other cars coming out today. And then the battery has almost not degraded. It still charges fast and all that. So I can highly recommend this car. This car is for sale. You can contact Marcus Beal if you want to buy it. So uh, yes, I think, uh, well, actually, yeah. What's up next then? I should try to find more cars, right? Cars that are six, five, six years old or even older and test how they are. Yeah, okay, do you guys have any suggestions? What should I try to grab? There's plenty of cars out on Finn. Maybe I can even ask, uh, I can contact someone on Finn who's trying to sell a car and say, hey, do you want some free advertisement? I can check your car. I mean, if it's good, then it's good, right? If it's bad, then okay, maybe you shouldn't uh, let me test it. Maybe that's a good idea to get cars, uh, all cars out there. But anyway, I think that's going to be it for now. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, thank you for watching and talk to you later.